Hey sugars, it's Kenny. Thanks for visiting my channel. Today I am trying this shell challenge. It's back from July, so it's not something that's going to get scored or anything, but I just was on Twitter. I'm like, okay, I need a little challenge. And this was that, and I hate it. <laughs> I tried to figure out what to do with the round wall, but it's not completely round. It has like a little one school one tile i don't know yeah <laughs> one side is not completely round so that was stressing me out and then they have two of these little one square rooms and i was <laughs> i didn't know what to do with that i didn't know what to do with the exterior really at all i did figure out something for the interior that made it look a little okay but this just look at it look i'm struggling i kind of felt like maybe i should have switched which direction the front of the house was because i decided that this was the front and so many things were stressing me out <laughs> I think I end up removing that, uh, what is that, a chimney? <laughs> I removed the chimney. I changed so many things from what you see right now. But this challenge was definitely that. And it's a challenge that made me realize I will never do a challenge with a round room probably ever again. Okay? Because I hate how the exterior comes out. And you'll see it eventually. It's not terrible. I made it look a little bit like old grandma's house kind of feel I guess I wanted to put a little um, I guess garden spot right there but it wasn't working because of the stairs so I ended up just putting a bush <laughs> and then I made this home look cottagey I guess you could say I don't know I was not happy <laughs> the entire time like what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do to make this look good and the the reason i turned it this way is because the lighting was better you know i was already struggling with the, how the home looks i was like okay at least i can have some better lighting so the <laughs> the exterior definitely was the hardest part of this home because the interior it's small but you i mean with tiny living and just making it a kind of like a studio a one bedroom kind of space it wasn't terrible i just really had a hard time with the outside and i guess i'm not the best when it comes to um exterior reels now the creator oh i didn't even introduce what this challenge was it was <clears throat> it is the july ch shell challenge or leaf july shell that's what it is so it's from a couple months ago and i was just like let me just do it anyway because why not and i i shouldn't have done it because as i keep saying i was struggling okay <laughs> so we're finally in the interior oh what i was about to say is that one green leaf did say that you could make it a dollhouse you can knock down the walls and just do the interior and again, I'm not, I didn't enter the challenge, obviously, because it's September now. <laughs> but I could have done that because it would have taken a lot of the stress away. And I could have just done some interior decoration because I enjoy doing that. But um, this is a bathroom. Very basic. No tub. Just, just a shower, sink, and toilet. Um, I ended up putting the walls green why i feel like with cottages especially old ones they have color x on the outside and the inside so i was like let me just do some green and i started decorating before the door was up so i kind of did that weird but I, I i knew where i wanted to put the door so i'm like i'm good i'm good i put a hamper in the bathroom now there is no washer and dryer but they, I did put a wash tub outside and <clears throat> what else the um the uh, <laughs> I ended up putting a clothesline yeah outside now this is the teeny 
living space. So of course I use tiny living furniture so that there could be, <laughs> I'm moving the camera all over the place cause I couldn't figure out like how I wanted to lay it out cause I still needed a kitchen. But um, I ended up putting a very tiny kitchen. They have the bed, the couch with that little uh, Murphy bed. And then I put a wall TV, a mounted TV up. So they're gonna have some entertainment. I did decorate a bit. I put more windows, don't worry. <laughs> it's not prison. But I just couldn't figure out what kind of color scheme I wanted to go with. I eventually stick with this like orangey wood and then threw in green as many places as I, as I girl get it out as many places as I could because I, I just wanted to keep that color scheme going I guess but oh my gosh this build was not fun for me I was thinking okay it's a challenge it'll be fun I like the outcome I like the interior let's just let's just be real with that and that's probably what you'll end up liking too so with the kitchen the refrigerator is right outside right inside the door I hate that but I decided this person has a tiny home but they can have a tiny dog as well okay I didn't think cat because then you'll have to figure out where to put the litter box and scratch posts if you want one of those and I'm like nah that's not gonna work in this house it's too small and I didn't need to add any more stress to myself okay I did change the lighting because I hate that yellow lighting okay that's that's only I only use that if I'm building an old house that wasn't updated I feel like this is an old house but they kind of updated the interior that's what I was going for. Um, there are some like antique aspects like this table and chairs. They don't technically go together, but it was giving like older from like the 60s, maybe. I don't know. But I wanted this home to have some clutter, I guess. I wanted to make it seem like somebody actually lives here. So I did go down and put little things like the salt chip salt and pepper shakers in the kitchen i put some different decor eventually i don't think i did i do it yet i don't think so because i kind of was struggling with that <laughs> having to move the counters and place things down and then i have better build by in my game but this is like a second save so oh the there's an airplane outside and I know it kind of messes up my audio, but this isn't my save that I play my LPs in. So this is a basically a new game, if it makes sense. So I needed to leave the game and come back for the better build by to be organized properly. And I just didn't want to do that. So it was kind of, <clears throat> oh my gosh, y'all. I won't even tell you why my voice is sounding like this. I'll probably rant about it in my <laughs> on my Twitter or in my community save, but it, my community tab. But yeah, I needed to find the clutter and I was struggling. So where else at? <laughs> well, I like I said, I did want to put a wash tub and clothing line. Now this person probably will go to the laundromat instead of washing in the wash tub, but I wanted them to have it. It is a small little yard space and I wanted to keep it that way because technically I didn't know if you could add extra space to the shell or not and I didn't want to go back and check the rules so I just kind of did what I wanted to do but I didn't want to make it too much and I made this like a little porch which I felt was the best option and uh, yeah I put those planter boxes are they boxes? The planter circles. But I put plants that you don't have to actually take care of in the game. Yeah. So. I'm just adding a few details. But y'all, sorry for all the saves that I didn't cut out. I forget. This wasn't something I was proud of. So if you're looking at this like, girl, what is this? I know. Please don't rip it in. But again, thanks for visiting my channel. I'll chit chat with you in another video.